Hi, my name is Michaela Miller, and I made a book. My inspiration for the book came from a list of idioms that we had to read through, and we had to choose one idiom to base our book on. And when I was reading through the idiom, she made us pick three that we really liked, but I pretty much knew from the beginning that I really wanted to do the to get carried away idiom. And so that was really my inspiration for the book. I just took that idiom and I just thought about all the different ways that things get carried away, like an envelope or um, seeds or your heart when you're in love. And so I just thought about all the different ways that somebody could get, or something could get carried away. And I just kind of went from there. Um, the process was a lot more time consuming than I was expecting. Um, you kind of had to think about your main idea and then you we had to have five spreads and so I had to come up with those five spreads and I chose to do five individual spreads. Some people did like the whole thing was one story but I chose to do five individual stories and so then once I decided that I just had to basically think of the individual spreads and then once I had the idea of what I wanted that spread to be about and look like I had to go and I had to find all the materials and um, this kind of handmade book they you you're supposed to use reusable materials like not you're not supposed to go buy something for this book you're find, supposed to find things that you already have that you can transform into some other type of material and so once you I had the spreads decided I found my materials and then I um, dyed the paper and cut the pages all down to the same size and then I basically just started each spread and just start to finish just made each spread. I don't really know where we go from here. There's a lot of um, different art shows. This was kind of at, it was at Culver Stockton and it was an art like they had workshops and so they basically wanted you to come and they taught you about art and you could make art and so a lot of those workshops have individual art shows within them and so I believe there's like districts and state art but I'm not positive. Um, I honestly hadn't ever, this is my first art award that I've ever won so I'm kind of new to the like, com like the competitive side of art so I'm not really sure. Me and nine of my classmates all went to Culver Stockton and it was kind of a workshop that Culver Stockton art students put together. And so you got to choose a workshop that you could go to and I chose um, artist trading cards. And so then you show up at Culver Stockton and you like display all of your art. And I was actually unaware that we were even entering art. And so my teacher when I showed up that morning gave me my book and was like here bring this and so we just showed up we all put our art together um, displayed it in this big room of my teacher said around 175 pieces of art and so you go and you display your art and it's all in this one big room everybody's arts in this one room and then everybody leaves and splits up into their workshops and then you're in your workshop for an hour and a half to two hours and then you go eat lunch and then there's like a competition and then you all come back and there's an assembly, and that's when they announce the best in show, the um, artistic excellence, and the honorable mention. And the honorable mention, there was probably like 50 students who won that. The artistic excellence, there was probably about 35 students who won that. And then the best of show, there was two judges, so two people out of 175 pieces of art won best in show, and I was one of those. Um, of the nine students that we brought, nine, nine of them entered artwork and eight of them, or seven of them, I believe, won some kind of an award. Um, a lot of them won the artistic excellence and I think only two of them won honorable mention.